Hi guys, this is Kendi here with your Sunday episode of Let's Be Real. I hope you're having a great day so far. Um, today's topic is it's not over yet. And um, as we've seen in this year, 2020, there have been so many instances where we thought um, something will go a certain way and it didn't go um, that way because it wasn't over. And so I want to talk to you today, just sitting outside, so you'll hear some little street noise, but that's okay. Um, so when I say it's not over yet, um, I really got to thinking about um, the story of Esther and how, um, you know, the Lord called her for such a time as this. And I think a lot of things that we are experiencing right now and going through as a nation is happening for such a time as this. But so when I think about the story of Esther, how, you know, the Lord prepared her, she prepared herself for over a year before um, the king ever saw her and before she was made queen. And when she did, she received all this favor from him. And so she found out from her cousin Mordecai that um, Haman, who was the king's right-hand man, was plotting to kill the Jews. Well, they didn't know that Esther was a Jew. And um, Mordecai told Esther, you know, your time has come. The Lord has appointed you as queen so that you can do what needs to be done to save our people. And so God gave her favor. She was like, okay, Lord, you've put me in this position. Um, I'm going to do whatever you tell me to do. And so she told Mordecai, let this car pass by. She told Mordecai, long story short, to have the people fast for her. And she was just waiting to hear strategy from the Lord. He gave her one, long story short. Haman um, was killed on the very gallows that he had put in place um, to kill Mordecai. So the people, the Jews were saved and um, the king was so enthroned by, enthralled by Esther that he offered to give her over half his kingdom. Whatever she wanted, he would do. And so the Lord just gave her favor and he blessed her. And so I just want to ask you, what is it in your life that you have given up on something that you feel like it's dead, like the situation is just done? Um, don't give up on miracles. Miracles still happen today. And um, if there is something, a situation in your life that you're dealing with where you feel like um, it's over, it's done with, I'm here to tell you that the Lord said it's not over yet. You know, he will come, just lay it before him. If you need to ask God, what is the strategy? What is it that you want me to do? Got an airplane going by. But anyway, what is the strategy that you want me to do in this situation? Do I need to fast? Do I need to pray? Like lay it before the Lord and he will give you the strategy that you need. So whatever situation you're facing is not over yet. A friend of mine just posted on Facebook yesterday. It was her birthday actually. Hey Stephanie, if you're out there. Um, she and her family were believing God for a new house. They had put offers on this, you know, several houses and didn't get them. But there's one house in particular they loved. She fell in love with it. And she just had her heart set on this house and they didn't get it their offer was not accepted and she was heartbroken and long story short the lord opened the door for them to build their dream house now they're in the stages to where they're building their house they're seeing it you know be erected and she and her family were able to go and um, while they were before they put the walls up they were able to write scripture on the inside of the house just declaring um what god had done for them it wasn't over for them they thought that you know that situation was dead they were not going to get this house that they were so in love with but guess what god had something even greater in store for them it's not over for you either so whatever situation you're facing i want you to know it's not over yet and also i wanted to share um this dream that i had i just feel led of the lord to share this today um this is not something that I normally share in this forum, like a prophetic word, but I just really feel the Lord staring me to share this today. And so on Thursday, November 5th, I had this dream. And um, so I'm going to share it with you and what the Lord has kind of revealed to me through this dream. All these cars are going by so today for some reason. Anyway, so before 
um, cause I'm going to be talking about the election and politics, which I normally don't do anyway, because I kind of have this issue with, um, us as a people, the church putting our faith, uh, in man, like we have given over our authority to the political system. And we tend to think that whoever is in office is going to be the savior, the one who brings the kingdom of heaven to earth. But that's the church's responsibility for us to bring the kingdom of heaven to earth. And we're not supposed to give that authority over to man. Yes, men rule us and govern us. And, you know, whoever the Lord has in office, he will, you know, allow his will to be done through them. <clears throat> but I am going to share this. So on Thursday, November 5th, I had a dream. And the Lord really deals with me with prophetic dreams quite a bit, actually. And so in this prophetic dream, it was unlike any other dream that I've ever experienced before in my life. When I woke up, I could not even speak. It was like I felt this weighty presence. Um, something had shifted in the atmosphere. And all, the only thing I could do was pray in tongues, pray in the spirit. So this was the dream. It was a short dream. So in the dream, um, President, I mean, uh, what's his name? Biden was named announced the winner of the election and he you know everybody was all these people were rejoicing and so happy that we we're going to have like this new administration and maybe we can see some change blah 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 people were just so rejoicing and in the same breath though like very shortly after that happened there was extreme disappointment in the same faces that were just rejoicing moments um, just moments before just all this disappointment had came and it was the country really the state of the the country just hung in the balance because something has shifted something had changed there were um, some something that happened um, it could uh, I, I sensed it as like corruption or something to do with the votes um, the counting of the votes and if you know here in waking life right now today all the votes haven't completely been counted and tallied they're still doing that um, and then on Saturday that was the end of the dream so on Saturday you know Biden was announced the winner and I didn't um, have this this peace this sense of release um, I just, I still felt like I did in the dream, like to continue to pray because I just kept feeling in my spirit, it's not over yet. And the reason I feel like the Lord wants me to share this word today is because like, we really need to continue to pray for this nation. Like, don't think that because, um, Biden was announced the winner by, by the media that this thing is over. We see that. President Trump is planning on doing all these investigations and like I said they are continuing to count ballots this election has been like anything that we've ever seen in the in the history of this nation and so um, I'm not here really to say you know what you know you should be this way or that way the right or the left what the Lord wants me to release today is that it's not over and that you need to continue to pray we need to pray for the state of this nation because i just really feel a sense that it's still weighing in the balance like it's not over yet you know um yeah it's not over yet and so you know wherever you fall on the spectrum we need to pray we need to cover this nation the the process um of the election that's continuing to go forth the people that are you know still tirelessly counting those ballots we need to continue to pray that doesn't mean because a winner was announced that we need to lighten up um just like my friend with that situation with her home she thought it was completely over but the lord had um something totally different in store for her and so you know we don't know what's going to happen the inauguration is not until January and usually it's not until December. I'm, I don't remember the date, but sometime in December that the um, votes are completely counted and, you know, the courts um, say that it's done. It's a done deal. 
it's never been this close ever and all those different states four or five states you know that we were waiting for them to say that it was done like the count the margin is so close you know 20,000 votes or less so that means there's going to be recounts and like I said you know we know what President Trump is doing with um, you know the lawsuits and different things in those different states and so I'm just saying like don't let your guard down don't you know celebrate just yet because I just really feel in my spirit that it's not over yet and um, I just want to encourage you like also in your situation that you're dealing with personally it's not over yet don't count God out you know we don't know what he has for you I really believe that God has an Ephesians um, 320 blessing for us he wants to bless us abundantly more than we could even ask or think just like he did with my friend Stephanie and blessing them with this their dream home that they are now being able to build so whatever situation that you're facing that seems like it's, it's ended it's not over yet God says it's not over yet lay it before him keep praying and believing and um, I just pray that that encourages you and then please please continue to pray for the state of this nation it's not over yet you know it really isn't and so continue to pray for God's will to be done we need to continue to pray for our president he is the man that is in authority over us and so we need to cover him whether you like him or agree with him or not i don't agree with a lot of things that he's done but i fervently pray for him because he is the person that has been placed in authority over us so we need to cover him in prayer um the lord even showed me um like like aaron lifted uh was with moses and he um lifted his arms you know like supporting him like we need to we need to pray we need to cover our president and we need to cover this nation and um, also for whatever situation that you're facing so I hope that that blesses you and encourages you this week but I just want to remind you it's not over yet blessings everyone I'll see you next week on another episode of let's be real bye